Guys, I just connected here, and tonight we are playing Goodbye. I've seen a little bit of a gameplay on Hey Raven's channel, and if you have not seen his channel, I recommend you check him out. He's got some pretty good content on there. Um, also, this game is by request, so please, if you have a game that you want me to test or you want me to play, I'll be happy to buy it. Um, the only thing that sucks about that, if I buy it and it doesn't run on my computer, that's your like downfall of it. So, um, yes, if you have a request, please send me a tweet. Tweet it at me, and it's... Not necessarily first come, first serve, but I try to be fair to everybody. I'll play any game by any platform or whatever it's developed by. So anyways, thank you. That's enough for me. Let's get to this game. It's time to wake up, but you stayed up really late last night, and now it's such a chore to stand up. There was only one reason why you're going to wake up today, and it's something that has kept you up for several nights now. You stand up and look around. Your room is a mess. There are clothes everywhere. You haven't swept the floor in days. Your bed sheets are snow. Your bag and several sketchbooks are lying on the floor. Would you like to clean the room? Hell no! By the way, I dig this music. This music is pretty badass. Um, you went back to bed. What's the point of cleaning it up anyway? They would just clean it up for you once you're gone. You don't really think that's a messy room is something to be ashamed of. Hell no, bro! I remember that you haven't taken a bath in a week, for a week now. Would you t like to take a bath? Yeah, probably. Yeah, you might. Just, okay. You might stink just a little bit. Um, you deserve one last relaxing bath before you go to hell or whatever. You took a towel and went to the bathroom. You opened the shower. The water was refreshing, refreshingly cold. It helped you wake up. You wish you could stay in the shower forever. For someone who doesn't take a bath regularly, you do love taking cold showers, especially in this great heat. You scrubbed yourself up until you were covered with bubbles. You played with them for for a while before you decided they, that you looked stupid and that what you were going what you were doing was childish. You finished taking a bath and went back to your room. You dried yourself up and put the best clothes you have. You walked towards the mirror. You looked at the mirror. There's only you. You weren't really alone your entire life, but it still feels like you were. You combed your hair to look more presentable before you went outside your room. Um, you headed over to the kitchen to get some snacks before you go outside of the house, but your mom catches you. Oh sh... I'm gonna say... Oh, oh blank. You were going outside today, right? Have I given you your money yet? You shake your head and she gives you some money. You told her a couple days ago that you were going outside today with your best friends. And that's just a lie. You are going someplace far away today, somewhere familiar. And that is there's something wrong? Uh, you've been staring, staring in the space for some time now. Ah, uh, no. Hmm. Are you sure there's nothing wrong? You reassure your mother that there's nothing wrong with you by nodding your head and give her a, her a smile. Alrighty then, your mother gives you a hug. I love you so much, we'll always be here for you, okay? Your chest starts to hurt, you feel nervous and guilty, but most of all scared. I love you too, mom. Kiss your mom on the cheeks. It was time to go. This artwork, by the way, man, is pretty legit. Good job on it. Uh, goodbye, mom. I love you. See you later, Annette. Uh, you tried to smile at her. It'll be a long while before you see each other again, you thought. You took a deep breath and went outside. The sky looks dark. It might rain later. You have an umbrella with you, though, you, so you no need to worry about that. The train station is pretty far away from here. You need to you need to take three rides to get there. You ride a tricycle in order to get to the town center. The wind is getting strong. It started the rain. You love the rain. It calms you down. It brings back memories of when you were young and sick. It was raining, and your parents brought you some log knot. I don't know what that is. Log off? The pedestal for you to eat. Uh, they said it would make you feel better, and it did. You arrived at your destination. It was time to ride the jeepney next. Um, there were only four people on board. It was spacious. The jeepney driver was driving pretty fast. It scared you a bit, but you remembered that you would be doing... Ah, blah, blah, blah. It scared you a bit, but you remembered that you will be doing... What you'll be doing will be far more scary. You arrived at the bus station. Just one more ride before you arrive at the final destination. You step into the bus. It 
it's a two to three hour ride before you get to your favorite train station. So you look out, you took out your earphones, connected to your phone, and listened to some tunes. You like commuting. It gives you time to think about random things while listening to some good music on your phone. Sometimes you look out the window and pretend you're in a music video. You started to fall asleep. Approximately 30 minutes have passed before you finally wake up, and there's that picture. Hey! That's kind of cool. I like that. Just a little more, just a little more, and you'll be arriving at your destination. You feel your body starting, starting wanting to shake. The bus conductor asked if anyone was going to get off the station, and you stood up. You went up off the bus and climbed the stairs leading to the train station. You finally arrived. This, this is it. This is where it will all end. You sent a platform, nervous, scared, and hopeful. The last train just went off, so it'll be a while before the next one comes. You took out your phone. You took your phone out of your small bag and decided you wanted to say goodbye to someone before you go. Who would you like to call mom? You know what? Yeah. We've only, that's, mom's the only one we heard from, so we might as well. You decided to call your mom. It rings. Hello. What is that, Do you need anything? Mom, I just want to tell, say that I love you so much. Thank you for everything you did for me. I am so sorry if you... If I was a burden these past few years, I hope you can forgive me. I'm sorry that I wouldn't be able to take care of my little sister. Please know that I love you all very much. Please remember me well. Goodbye, Mom. What's wrong? You, you see the train coming? It's getting nearer and nearer. It's probably time. Are you sure about this? I mean, you kind of have to, don't you? Jumped into the tracks. You thought you heard people shouting. The train did its job. No ma nothing matters anymore. You're gone, but you're happy. You said goodbye. The end. Damn, man. Um, you know, I love playing games like this because there's a message behind it. You never know who needs help. But same side, I hate playing games like this because it's just like you... It's almost like you're leading someone to death. And I know it's just a game, but like, there, this is like a world that struggles with this. And there's help out there. And there's, but people feel like there's no, nobody cares. Like, I personally don't know you. But I'm there to talk. You know, like, it's, there's not enough people that care about one person's life if you're all just drained into your own instead of opening your eyes to what's actually out there. Um, Life is too far important for this to end it. So, yes, I would play this a game if I can save your life or save her life. Or <sighs> okay, so before or after that, I went through this again because it leads you into a trap. So I committed the way of suicide. So here, 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 here. If you tell her the truth. And you decide to tell your mom about the truth and what's going to happen today. It's hard to feel compelled to. So I'm going to this really quick. You told her that you decided that the day was the day to end of your life. Today was the day that you would stop being burdened to everyone you know. You told her about your plans. How you would be the trap. How you go and travel to your favorite train station. Jump on the tracks. The train can hit you hard and trample you until the bones are crushed. You tried to hold back the tears and started to cry. Your mother is speechless. She brings you back to your room. You both sit down. Please don't say goodbye. We love you so much. Please don't say goodbye. You can't do this. You can't do this to the people who love you. It's hard. To, it's hard, but you need to live on. Not only for the others, but for yourself as well. You almost forgot that so many. You have so many things you can live for. You hugged your mother once more. You decided not to say goodbye, and that's it. So I played it again, and there's an alternate ending, which makes me feel so much freaking better. This game was just got ten times better. I did. This game got a lot better. Thank you very much for adding that in. I just wanted to click through because I know it's like a little puzzle thing. But yes, thank you very much for adding that in. Greatly appreciate that. The game was awesome, man. And a strong message. Thank you.